What's up, IHS? I'm your host, Toby Kurzweil. And I'm Francis Clem. This week we cover the IPEI Adult Spelling Bee, the Unified Bowling Finals, the Downtown Post Office, the recent stabbing at Agava, and an update on a past story. The 22nd Annual IPEI Adult Spelling Bee took place this weekend at Ithaca High School. IPEI is the Ithaca Public Education Initiative, a nonprofit which awards grants to local teachers for innovative educational projects in the classroom. This year to date, IPEI has awarded over $25,000 in grants to programs and projects across the Ithaca City School District. The winning team was the first Congo Bees. Words include crepuscular, animals that are active primarily during twilight, and clouder, a group of cats. You can watch the whole spelling bee on the Lake Street News YouTube channel. And the U IHS Unified Bowling Team went to Elmira for the finals on February 26th. Ithaca competed against Corning Painted Post, Elmira, and Horseheads. The team placed second, losing to Corning by only 24 pins. Mr. Askelar, one of the team's coaches, said, quote, I am very proud of our team. In our first year of Unified Bowling, we finished in second place. The way that ath the athletes supported one another was inspiring." End quote. Lake Street News would like to congratulate the Unified Bowling Team on the success. The Ithaca Post Office on North Tioga Street may be moving. Plans to consolidate the office with the one on Warren Road have led to concerns about how this may impact the locals in downtown Ithaca economically. Senator Chuck Schumer, as well as Mayor Savante Myrick, have asked the U.S. Postal Service to rethink their decision. Senator Schumer has said, quote, Ithaca's historic downtown post office is a pillar of the city's business district, with countless residents and commercial institutions dependent on its central location and easy accessibility for their postal needs, end quote. We'll keep you posted on how this unfolds. And at 11.50 on February 26th, a lot of things happen on February 26th, the Ithaca Police Force responded to a call from the local Agava restaurant. On the scene, deputies found two victims stabbed. It seems two people had gotten into an argument that resulted in a stabbing while a bystander intervened and was stabbed as well. The suspect has not yet been found and the two victims, who are both in their mid-twenties, have critical injuries. The suspect was described as a black male between the heights of 5'8 and 5'10. If anyone has any information about the attacks, you are encouraged to contact the Sheriff's Office at 607-257-1345 or the Sheriff's Office Confidential Tip Line at 607-266-5420. We now have an update on the Chase Bank protest we covered last week. The eight adults who are detained for their role in the protest have all had the charges against them dropped. To learn more about the Chase Bank protests, see the link to our last episode in the description below. Well, that's all for this week, IHS. See you next week.